In the 1760s, uh, there was a war between the Cherokee Indians who controlled this whole area and the English. And the English won. And they opened up the back country of the Carolinas to uh, settlement. In about the 1780s, uh, the, uh, the, the colony was divided into districts. And so they created Spartanburg District and uh, they located the center of the district in Morgan Square. There is some debate about where the name Spartanburg comes from. Um, what we do know is that during the American Revolution, there was a militia group called the Spartan Rifles. Most people believe that's where the name came from. The name Hub City comes from the fact that after the American Civil War, uh, Spartanburg uh, deliberately set out to make itself into a manufacturing center. And in order to do that, it had to bring the railroads to Spartanburg. So by the latter part of the 19th century, there were railroads that were he that headed in every uh, direction of the compass. Um, and therefore, uh, that made Spartanburg a hub. Agricultural history and uh, textile history of the county uh, revolves around this hub of railroads. This area attracted a lot of textiles um, for a number of reasons. Uh, one was the railroads. The other was the, uh, the population. There was a large population. Uh, also, it was located in a spot where there was a lot of cotton. And so they began to build uh, textile mills, and they built uh, almost 30 of them, uh, or over 30 of them. And people uh, from around here um, went to work in the textile mills because a textile, a family, all, with everyone working, could make more money in a textile mill. When the war came along, um, Spartanburg, for the second time, uh, had a training camp at Camp, had, they had it at Camp Croft. They had had one in World War I, uh, which was Camp Wadsworth, which is where the uh, Westgate Mall is now. Um, and both of those have, in a sense, opened up Spartanburg to the rest of the nation. People and historians divide history into quarter centuries or five-year marks or usually in multiples of five, okay? Because it gives them opportunities to remember and to reflect, uh, which they ordinarily don't do and wouldn't ordinarily do. But if you have a commemoration or you have a special event, then they do it. And it helps to rem remind them of their past and also helps to, I think, probably generate some optimism for the future.